Hi all, today I want to show you a little feature in our Swiss Performance plugin called Slim. Uh, it's a feature that lets us eliminate unused CSS and JavaScript. It's not automatic, um, but that gives us a lot of control over what JavaScript and CSS files are loaded, where they're loaded, when they're loaded, all of that. Um, and so let's get into it. So on the back end on the Swiss settings page, uh, it's the very last thing. Um, but definitely not the least, because it's pretty powerful. Um, and so we can add rules from here. Uh, if we know the JavaScript or CSS handle, that's the um, name that it's registered with uh, in WordPress, uh, we can do it from here. Uh, we can disable it if we accept a list of pages. We can disable it on various pages. Or um, we can just leave this blank and hit Add Rule, and it'll disable it everywhere. Um, but to really dig into this better, we're going to go on to the front end where we can see the full uh, power of Slim. And so here we are. Um, let's head over to uh, the home page on my demo site here. Um, it's a photography site, real basic, not much here, um, but some nice stuff uh, built with an Elementor template and we've got a bunch of different plugins. We've got WP Forms and Yoast and WooCommerce and and a bunch of different stuff going on here that we'll talk about in another video. Uh, but for now, uh, we want to look at why why does it even matter to, to mess with the JavaScript and CSS that's loading on our pages. And on some sites it might not be a huge deal, but on this site it is, and on a lot of sites it is. Um, our homepage at u.io uh, has a lot of stuff that loads on there and so Slim was a real help in uh, slimming that down. So to see what all is loading on this page we can hit inspect um, and that will bring up the dev tools and we can go to the network console or tab and then refresh the page and then it will show us all of the things that are loading on our page 104 of them. And out of those, 56 are JavaScript files and 29 are CSS files. So almost 90 assets between those two out of 105. So most of our page weight is coming from those and the rest is probably images and fonts. So a little bit of a big deal. So anything we can do here to slim that down is going to be helpful. So to see the slim panel on the front end, we need to just click the Swiss uh, menu item here or hit manage JavaScript CSS from the drop down menu there, but I always just hit Swiss and it pops right up. And this will show us again all the stuff that's loaded, it will give us the dependencies for each resource, uh, it will give us that handle that we talked about, that's the name that it's registered with. Uh, in WordPress. It will also give us a link to the resource so we can see where it's coming from, exactly what folder and whatnot, um, which is particularly important for plugins. For themes, of course, it's coming from our theme. Uh, for core, uh, it might be coming, it's from core, but it might be required by anything. In this case, jQuery you know, is being required by WooCommerce, it's being required by Elementor, by our Flex slider, our social share plugin, our uh, Mailchimp plugin, um, and our forms plugin. So it's jQuery is used by a lot of stuff, and if you have it, you usually don't want to mess around with it too much, uh, unless you have some pages where you're just not using any scripts or at least any of these scripts. You know, then you could maybe disable jQuery for the most part. Just leave jQuery alone, and we'll look at some other uh, ones that we can disable on this page. Um, WP Emoji might be a common one that, that gets disabled if you're not using Emoji on your uh, site anywhere. You can just come in here, disable everywhere, click Add the Rule. Ta-da, it's disabled everywhere. Um, so now that's one less script that's almost 18 kilobytes that's not going to load on our pages. Um, 
I want to look at a common one uh, that you can slim down a bit and that is from contact forms or form plugins. Um, certain plugins will just load all of their CSS and JavaScript everywhere. Um, WP Forms, uh, as I've been digging around, does a pretty good job. They don't load their JavaScript unless it's required on the page, but their CSS is loaded site-wide. And that's because CSS has to be declared in the header, and so by the time you know they're loading the CSS, they don't know yet if that CSS is going to be used because all the content comes later. Uh, so CSS can be really tricky from a plugin standpoint or a theme standpoint to disable, um, but you as the user now with Swiss and the Slim feature uh, can come in here and we can look at our WP Forms uh, resources and we know that some of them are, are pulling in jQuery um, and here is our uh, WP Forms CSS and so for this uh, particular case we can say hey you know what we don't need that CSS loading everywhere but we need it on this page right so let's disable it Oop not that one, disable everywhere except this page and we're going to add that rule. Now if you hit customize rule or edit um, it will let you add other pages to that list and they're comma separated so let's say we also had a form on a registration page so we go in here and that's our registration page and save that and now our WP Form CSS is going to load on those two pages and nowhere else. Another example that I want to look at on this particular site is uh, with Font Awesome. And Font Awesome is basically it's an icon set that's used by a lot of plugins, a lot of themes. Uh, it's pretty handy, but sometimes it's a little overkill. And on this particular site, it's being included by both Elementor and our theme. And so I did some playing around with this earlier and found out that if we disable it uh, in our theme, well, I'll do that and I'll show you what happens. Because this is a good good way to um, see. So here's the font awesome one from our theme. We're going to disable that everywhere because, oh hey, you know, it's being included by Elementor. Alright, so let's, so we added that rule close out of the panel and we want to refresh and make sure everything's still working and so we're looking at the page we're refreshing and it refreshed and now the reason it's on this page from Elementor is because of the brand icons that are used for our social media stuff right here but our theme is including it in part because it's used for the icons down in this WooCommerce store notice and so those are now gone. Well, that's not what we want. So let's go back into Swiss. Let's go back and here's the the one from Elementor and then the brands one is down here. That's the one that's being used on this page. Um, and so we're going to get rid of this rule because that didn't work. And it says, are you sure? Yes, yes, we're sure. And we'll keep searching, we'll keep going with our fonts. And we'll also see on here under the miscellaneous section that our Google font uh, resources or CSS files are disabled. And that's uh, from part of our Google font optimization where we disable fetching these files because we inline them so that we don't have to fetch a CSS file and then go get the fonts. This way, CSS is right, is right in the page and we can go get the fonts straight away save ourselves a lot of time so anyway let's keep going little side note freebie there didn't cost you nothing <laughs> all right so now we're back to our elementor ones and since ocean wp is including the full set of icons we're going to disable the elementor ones instead
and see how that works. So let's refresh the page. And now we have our little notice icons back, dismiss, and our little info icon, and our social media icons are still there. So hoorah, we were able to disable a couple uh, CSS files from Elementor, um, notably quite large ones, because uh, that's almost 60K. Uh, the brands one is pretty tiny because it's just a handful of icons, but uh, that the f main one is, is pretty big. So that's a, a big win for us and pretty awesome. <clears throat> All right, so let's go back to the back end just so we can see um, now this console with a little bit more stuff here. And now we can see all the rules that we set up on the front end. We got our WP emoji rule, we got our WP forms CSS rule, and then our Elementor uh, font awesome rules that we added. And so from here you can do all the same actions. You can add exclusions. Um, you could edit those exclusions. So this one already has some, so we could go edit and you know, say, well, we don't really have a registration page, so let's get rid of that. And then we can save it and you know it does its thing. Uh, we can remove rules from here so you know if you got 50 rules site-wide um, which is not unreasonable uh, you can come in here and, and manage them all in one place quite easily and of course you can also add rules from here as well if you'd like to so that's a quick uh, tutorial on how to use slim in our swiss performance plugin and have a great day and happy optimizing.